Guys, this is a follow-up to my previous video. If you haven't already checked the luggage compartment check, please do so on my other video. So if you check your luggage compartment and everything is fine, next thing you wanna do, if your E46 convertible top isn't working, you're gonna remove the tray that sits right over here. So as you can see, you can see my spare tire, it's missing. And actually it's underneath. But uh, next thing you wanna do, you're gonna come over here to the left side of the car. And I already have most of this stuff out, but right here you have this tray. This tray, you have these clips. Right here, left, two clips. You're gonna use a tool as such to pry on those spots upward. And you'll come up with these guys here. So they come out like that. You just pry them up with that fork tool. After you set that aside, over here you're gonna have this trim panel and you're gonna just remove that one of those clips using that same tool that's gonna be right over here on this, which will allow you to pull this carpeting out, trim panel. And the next thing, next thing after you take the trim panel off on the left hand side, you're gonna to wanna to grab a socket. I believe this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's hard to look through the camera. There's a 13 millimeter socket. And you're just gonna wrench off this knot right here. And I'll be right back to show you the next step. One more thing, make sure your top is down, stored down in the luggage compartment unit in order for you to start disassembling this stuff, okay? All right, next thing you guys wanna do is come over to the pump. You'll have this piece around it as such. You just gotta kinda separate it, you know, do whatever you want. I couldn't get mine out, so it was glued on. I ripped it, and then in the future, I'm just gonna end up taping it around or getting a new one. And so what you wanna do is you wanna set your pump straight. Remember not to remove these hydraulic lines. You don't wanna get air in the system. But standing it up straight, you can see that the fluid level is low. It is below this marker. Maximum is right here, minimum is right here. So, and at the same time, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove this piece. And right here is your fill plug. This is your fill plug. So what you're gonna wanna do is set your pump to the side a little bit like this, not removing the hydraulic lines, just removing that bolt that I showed you, unscrewing that and then adding fluid. But the number one thing you guys gotta remember is if you are low on fluid, as I am, I am below minimum, that means you have a leak in the system. So you can add the fluid, but at the same time, the operation is malfunctioning because you have a leaky cylinder somewhere. And most likely that cylinder is gonna be on the left-hand side on the bottom. I'm gonna show you how you can scout that out. Real quickly guys, also for the last part of this video, I'm gonna come over here on the left-hand side. I may make a video about how to change this, but that would be a really long video. So you see this puddle that's here? That is the hydraulic fluid. So you have cylinders all along the side here, which you'd have to disassemble a lot. I may do that in another video, but you can come up here and basically take a look at the bottom here. See that little drip, all that? You'll notice that it's wet underneath by the wheelbase. That is where I am leaking the convertible top fluid from. So please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me a message and I'll be loving to help you out. Also here, guys, gonna include the part numbers for the fluids. This is the BMW part number fluid. This is the Phoebe aftermarket fluid. Make sure to use one of those fluids. Thanks for watching.